In this skill, we're going to demonstrate the modified bed bath. I'm bringing my supplies. I'm knocking on the door. Come in. Hello, Miss West. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, dear. Great. My name is Kim, and I'm going to be giving you your bed bath today. Is that okay? That's fine. Great. I have all my supplies here. I'm going to go ahead and get everything together for you so we can get you nice and clean. Is that okay? Thank you. Yes. Very good. The supplies you will need for this skill are a bath basin, soap, gloves, one clean gown, at least two washcloths, and two to four towels. One towel will be used for your barrier that will cover your bedside table. We will now begin the skill. You will want to provide privacy for your patient by pulling the screen or closing the patient door. Next, you will test your water, making sure that the water is warm for the patient. You're going to fill your bath basin. You will want to check the bath water with, the, with your wrist. Next, you will take the water to your patient so that they can test the water for temperature accuracy. Mrs. West, I have the bath water here. I'd like for you to test it before I start. Child, you're trying to kill me. <laughs> That's fine, dear. Great. After your patient has checked the water and has approved it, your next step will be to provide a barrier with which to put your basin on. Now that you have your barrier and your basin on your barrier, your next step is to apply your gloves so that you may begin washing your patient. You have a lot of residents today, dear. Yes, ma'am, but the point is that I'm going to take care of you to the best of my ability. Make sure that you're taken care of. You are That's great. Your next step will be to loosen the patient's gown and remove it. The key here is to remain, maintain privacy at all times. Ms. Webb, we're going to go ahead and take your gown out right now. Okay. Now I'm removing the gown exposing the patient as little as possible. After you've taken off the old gown, you want to you want to place it in your dirty hamper. Face towel number one will be placed in the water. Be sure to apply to not apply any soap because you'll be washing the patient's face. I've wrapped the towel around my hand so that I can wash the patient's face. When you go to wash the patient's face, you're going to want to wash the face from the intercanthus of the eye to the outer canthus. This left, we're going to go ahead and wash your eye. All right. One wipe. You're going to use a clean surface to wipe the other part. All you have to do is simply turn your washcloth around. Inner canvas to outer canvas. Okay? Once you've washed the eyes, you can now continue with the rest of the face. You can start up top and wash down. And then... Turn your washcloth around again. And then I'm going to want to wash around the nose area, making sure that I've cleaned every surface of the face using a clean surface of the washcloth each time you wipe. Next, you're going to want to place your washcloth, if you used on the face, 
on the dirty side, okay? So this is not going to be used again. You're going to start with a fresh washcloth. Now that I've washed the patient's face, I'm going to dry her face with a clean towel. All right, Ms. West, I'm going to go ahead and dry your face. Okay. This same towel you may use as a barrier under the patient's extremity that you will be washing. Twist. There you go. The next step will be to wash the patient's extremity. In this step, you may use soap on your washcloth after you have wet your washcloth in the water. Be sure to wring out all the excess water and apply soap. All right, Miss West, I'm going to wash your arm now. Okay. Wash from the shoulder down to the fingers. and up under the arm, down to the fingers. I'm gonna cover the patient's arm while I get my towel to rinse. Your next step will be to rinse the patient's arm. This step is gonna be water only. Wet your cloth, bring up the excess water. Okay, Ms. West, I'm gonna rinse your arm, okay? All right, dear. Rinse from shoulder. To fingers, up under. So you you washed my arm and my hand and my armpit. Yes, and oh, your okay. arm, your skin looks just great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss West, I'm gonna dry your skin now. Okay. And this step, I'm gonna dry my patient's skin. Okay. Once the skin has been dried, I'm gonna remove the barrier. I'm going to apply her clean gown. Okay, would you like me to tie it in the back? Yes. Yep. Clean towel. Mm -hmm. We're going to tie. I've maintained her privacy. I'm going to make sure she's comfortable. Are you okay? Oh, fine, dear. Great. That's great. Great. I'm going to clean up my stuff. Okay. And you can call me if you need something. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to dump my water out. Paper towel. Note that I'm placing it in the designated dirty area. Now that I completed the metal fat bed bath, I'm going to ensure that my patient has her call light. Here you are, Ms. West. Thank you. And I'm going to ensure that her bed is in lowest position to prevent falls. And it is. I'm going to remove my supplies. Close my patient's door and my skill is complete after I have removed my gloves and washed my hands.